Lesson 7.5 is about theorems for similar triangles. The first of the two theorems that we're going to learn about is the side angle side similarity theorem. And like uh, the name side angle side implies with the A in between the two sides, um, we have two similar triangles if certain conditions are met. Um, between the two triangles, if we have two proportional sides, so two sides uh, in one triangle proportional to two sides in the second triangle, and the included angle uh, is the congruent between the two triangles, then we have similar triangles. So in this example, um, I have a side that is uh, 3, which is, if I look at the proportion of the side that's 6 in the other triangle, and then I see that that is the same ratio and it, as the five side that's 5 in the smaller triangle to the side that's 10. It's a 1 to 2 ratio or 1 to 2 scale factor. So with those sides proportional and then the included angle at the top um, congruent, I have similar triangles. And they are similar by side angle side. Proportional sides with in included angles congruent. Next is the side 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 uh, similarity theorem. And like you can probably tell from the name side side side, this uh, is when all three sides, of, we have two triangles and all three sides in one are proportional to the three sides in the second triangle. So in this one, what you do is find the smallest side in both of them. So I would find, okay, the smallest side in this one is a 2 and in this one is a 3. So I would set up that ratio. So small triangle to big triangle is a 2 to a 3. And then look for the middle length side, and that's going to be the 4 and the 6. And so those are in the same ratio as a 2 to 3. And then the last side is uh, 5 and 7.5, and, and those are in the same ratio. It's a 2 to a 3 ratio. So all three sides are proportional. Therefore, these two angles are similar by side, 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 similarity theorem. So we now have four ways to prove similar triangles. The first way is by definition of similar triangles, which is that we have uh, all sides proportional. So if you know that all sides are proportional and all angles are congruent, then you have similar triangles, just like any similar poly polygons by definition. So all sides proportional, all sides, oh, I'm sorry, all angles congruent. The second way we've learned is the angle-angle similarity postulate. So if I know I have two congruent angles between two triangles, I know the two triangles are uh, similar. Third way is the side-angle-side similarity theorem. And the fourth way is the side-side-side similarity theorem. So let's uh, demonstrate some examples of these. So in this first example, we're going to name uh, similar triangles, if there are any, and tell why. So um, I'm looking at a little triangle that's embedded into a big triangle. So I'm going to just, on the side here, reproduce um, the little triangle, ADE. and the big triangle, ABC, and I notice that I have um, pairs of congruent angles in these. So I have the two 80 degree angles here and here uh, in the figure, and I also notice that this angle up at the top is shared, angle A is in both triangles, so I have two angles in one uh, triangle congruent to two angles in another. So what I have is I have um, 
triangle ADE is uh, similar to triangle ABC by angle-angle uh, postulate. In this next example, we have another situation where we have a, a one smaller triangle embedded into a larger triangle, and I've already reproduced them in blue over on the right. I have triangle CDE, uh, and I have these two sides labeled 6 and 10. And then I have big triangle CAB with these sides labeled. Uh, now CA is 6 plus 3 or 9, and CB is 10 plus 5 or 15. And once again, I've got angle C is in both of the triangles. So um, if I check proportionality, I have the smaller labeled side in the top triangle, the side that's 6 to a side that's 9, and that is proportional to the other pair, the 10 and the 15. Those are both a 2 to 3 ratio. So I have two sides uh, proportional between the two triangles with an included angle. So I have a triangle, uh, let's go CDE, similar to triangle and corresponding would be CAB. And the reason for this is the side angle side similarity theorem. All right, in the next example, again, I have two triangles. This time they're not, one's not embedded in the other. They share a bit of a common side. Uh, I've redrawn them to the right, the small triangle and the big triangle in blue. So let's look at what we have. Uh, if I find the smallest side on the little triangle, it is 3. And the smallest side on the bigger triangle would be um, this side that's 6. So I'm going to check proportionality here. That's a 3 to 6 ratio. Then I go on to LM, which is the next biggest side, 5. And that's going to correspond to the side that's the next biggest side on the next one, which is 10. So, so far I have proportionality. 3 is to 6 is 5 is to 10. And then on this last side, um, KM is 6, and KN is 6 plus 6, or 12. So is 6 to 12. So you can see quite easily that um, all three side lengths are proportional. That's a 1 to 2 ratio of side lengths. So I can now say that uh, triangle LKM uh, is similar to triangle uh, would be O, let's see, LKM would be OKN. And this is by uh, the side, side, side similarity theorem. Okay, for the last example, we're going to do a little proof. Um, what we're given is that sides uh, in the top little triangle, side JL, the ratio of JL to NL in the bottom triangle is the same, is proportional to the ratio of KL to ML. So I'm going to take um, on this proportion here, JL to NL, and I'll do these and just kind of make a line in purple. Those two are proportional to each other. And then I'll do a line in uh, red for KL to uh, ML. Okay, so those two sides, sets of sides, pairs of sides, are proportional to each other. And I have to prove that this angle up here, angle J and angle K up here, is it, oh, I'm sorry, it's not K. Hold on a minute. Okay, I fixed it. I have to prove that uh, angle J up the top left and the bottom right angle N are congruent. So I know that similar triangles have all three angles congruent to each other, you know, all three corresponding angles congruent. So uh, if I can prove that these two angles I don't need to prove that they're congruent. I need to prove that at least that they're similar. If they're similar, then angle J and angle N, if they're in corresponding positions, 
will be um, congruent. So um, uh, first thing I'm going to note is that I have this pair of vertical angles congruent to each other. So I'm going to say angle JLK is congruent to angle, uh, it looks like it's going to be NLM because uh, if I started with J, J is across from the red side, opposite the red side uh, that I've labeled red, and angle N is opposite uh, the red side. So those are corresponding. So that the reason for that is that vertical angles are congruent. And then um, I can now say that the two triangles are similar. So I can say... Triangle uh, JLK is similar to triangle uh, NLM by, and I've, what I've got is two proportional sides with an included angle. So that side angle side similarity theorem. And so angle J is an angle N. It's kind of like corresponding parts of congruent triangles except that it's similar triangles. So my reason that angle J does equal angle N now, and I've proven it, is that corresponding angles of uh, similar triangles oops, are uh, congruent. Okay, so that's it.